Welcome friends. In this video, we will discuss the finite element analysis of springs in series. So, we will solve one uh, numerical for that. Uh, we will understand how to uh, analyze the springs in series. Now here, uh, we have given three springs which are in series and uh, they are having uh, fixed support at 1 and 4. So, uh, the problem statement is that for the spring, uh, sorry, for the spring system shown above, K1 that is stiffness matrix for element 1 is 100, K2 is 200 and K3 is 100. So, uh, this, these are the stiffness matrix and we have uh, asked to find out the global stiffness matrix, uh, displacement at 2 and 3 and reaction force at node 1, 4 and the force in uh, the spring. Okay. So this is the requirement here. Now, uh, first of all, uh, we will try to solve these two and uh, after that, uh, these two are uh, kept unsolved, which will be, uh, so if we determine these uh, two values, you, uh, it is very simple to uh, determine these two. So I will not solve, uh, I will not solve this so you have to uh, try yourself okay now let's see uh, for uh, analysis of the spring first of all what we need to do uh, we need to fi uh, find out uh, steepness coefficient for every element so how to uh, find out the steepness coefficient first of all uh, we'll write displacements for every element so at this uh, at u1 i will write displacement as u sorry at node 1 uh, i will write displacement as u1 at node 2 i will write displacement as u2 at node 3 it will be u3 and at node 4 it will be u4 so these are the respective displacements at the nodes now for finding out the stiffness coefficient for first element i will uh, i will take coefficient of uh, first that is 100 k1 is 100 here here it is uh, and uh, then uh, we'll uh, write the matrix as 100 minus 100 minus 100 100 okay so by using steepness or um, coefficient of first element uh, we have to write the respective displacement at the start of node and end of node so end of start of element and end of element so at the start of element it was u1 u2 similarly we will write in the column also u1 u2 ok for spring element 2 the stiffness coefficient uh, is obtained as uh, for uh, 2 element 2 k2 is 200 so that's why we have written the matrix as 200 minus 200 minus 200 200 uh, at the start of the element 2 we have uh, displacement u2 and uh, at element 3 we have displacement u3 so that's why we have taken u2 u3 u2 u3 okay for third element uh, again we have uh, stiffness coefficient as 100 so that's why we have taken 100 minus 100 minus 100 100 uh, stiffness coefficient was u3 u4 uh, sorry displacement at start of third element was u3 and at the end of th third element was u4 uh, similarly u3 and u4 so now after finding out the uh, individual uh, stiffness coefficient we'll assemble this uh, coefficient and we'll uh, find out the global coefficient stiffness coefficient so uh, we have studied it in the uh, stepwise procedure of APM that uh, in this step uh, will determine the elements uh, properties and uh, after that we will uh, find out the global properties by assembling the element properties okay so we have uh, we are assembling the stiffness coefficient matrices here and we will find out this global stiffness coefficient matrix so how to find out this first of all uh, i have uh, added the number of steepness coefficient matrix uh, matrices and uh, i have taken the number of columns equal to number of displacements so u1 u3 and u4 so first of all uh, and also rows number of uh, uh, u1 u2 u3 u4 now uh, to find out first coefficient i will uh, take u1 u1 element 
from this uh, matrices so here uh, we have u1 u1 element is 100 here uh, in all all other uh, matrices there is no u1 u1 element so only uh, this is u1 u1 element so that's why i have taken 100 here to find out second element it is u2 u1 element so that's why uh, we'll check how uh, check out how many u2 u, u2 u1 elements are there here it is u2 u1 element so that's why we have taken minus 100 uh, there is no other uh, element uh, having same uh, configuration that is u2 u1 third is u3 u1 so we we can see that there is no uh, relation between u3 and u1 here we have u1 u2 u1 u2 u3 u2 u3 u2 but we don't have u1 u3 combination we don't have u1 and u3 combination so that's why we have taken here 0 similarly we don't have y4 so u4 u1 combination so that's why we have taken 0 now we'll check uh, is there any combination like u1 u2 so we have combination like that u1 u2 here this is u1 and this is u2 minus 100 so i have taken minus 100 here then we'll see u2 u2 combination here you can see that here u2 u2 element is 100 again we have one more one more uh, u2 u2 element here u2 u2 it is 200 and here 100 so we'll take 100 plus 200 300 here okay so please uh, remember this how uh, did i have cal calculated this element i will repeat it again to find out u2 u2 element i have taken uh, the number of u2 u2 elements the summation of number of u2 u2 elements here so here we have one element u2 uh, which is having u2 u2 configuration of uh, u2 column u2 row so this element is having value of 100 plus this element u2 row and this is u2 row column so it is 200 so this 200 and this 100 it will be 300 uh, similarly i have calculated the next element that is u3 u2 here we have u3 u2 200 minus 200 so i have taken minus 200 again u4 u2 uh, there is no combination like this so we have taken zero then u1 u3 there is no combination like this so we have taken zero u2 u3 u2 u3 minus 200 so minus 200 again u3 u3 here we have u3 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 is 100 here also we have u3 u3 equal to 200 so 200 plus 100 it will be 300 u4 u3 here u4 u3 u3 is minus 100 so i have taken minus 100 here uh, again the next element is u1 u4 there is no combination like this so that's why zero u2 u4 so we have taken uh, zero because there is no combination like u2 u4 again we have taken minus 100 for u3 u4 because we have u3 u4 element equal to minus 100 so likewise we have assembled whole matrix k after assembling this matrix we'll move towards the general uh, equation of this method uh, this is the equation which we are uh, talking about so in the stiffness matrix into displacement matrix equal to reaction matrix so we have uh, written this stiff, uh, stiffness matrix global stiffness matrix which we have obtained previously uh, into the respective displacement at nodes here we have taken uh, reaction so first of all we'll assume the reaction at this node we'll consider f1 at this node we'll consider f2 at this node f3 is p and here we'll assume f4 so accordingly i have taken that matrix these are the displacement and these are the reaction at the place of f3 i have written p because it is given now we'll apply the boundary condition uh, we know uh, that this is uh, the next step 
of FEM. So we have applied the boundary condition. We know that if there is a fixed support, if there is a fixed support, so it doesn't allow any movement. So that's why it uh, it will not allow the displacement also. So that's why U1 and U4 will be zero because these are the uh, displacements of nodes which are at fixed ends. I will show that this is U1 is at this fixed support. So that's why it will be zero because it is fixed support and U4 is also at fixed support. So that's why it will be zero. So we have written U1 equal to U4 equal to zero and we know that F3 equal to P the P equal to 500 Newton. It is given. So we have substituted these values in place of U1 and U4 we I have written zero and in the place of P I have written 500. So back, uh, all other terms are written as it is because this uh, first element is uh, get becoming zero. So that's why first uh, row and first column will be zero here. So again this element is zero. So that's why fourth fourth column and fourth row will become zero or it will be uh, neglected. So because uh, so we are we are left with only four elements so uh, applying elimination method we have just eliminated all, all, all zero element and we have uh, substituted the remaining values so we will get 300 minus 200 minus 200 300 here u2 u3 and 0 500 here so if you uh, obtain uh, two equations from this ma uh, matrix equation so we will get 300 u2 minus 200 u3 equal to 0 then minus 200 u2 plus 300 u3 equal to 500 so if you solve these equations by traditional method uh, like by multiplying this equation by Two and multiplying this equation by three and adding this in them, you will find out the values of u3 and u2. Or you can directly substitute this equation uh, in the calci, and you can find out uh, the required values of u3 and u2. So the values of u3 and u2 uh, that are uh, found out by me uh, are 3 mm and 2 mm. So these are the displace, uh, displacement at node 2 and node 3 that are 3 and 2. So we know that if in this equation uh, we have values of um, displacement at uh, u1 and u4 is already 0 we have find out these values. Okay now uh, this is also known to us so we can find out the reaction forces. So this is the, uh, the all other uh, terms are very easy to calculate now so this is how we'll analyze the springs which are in series if you have any query regarding this you can ask me uh, the rest of the numerical or the rest part of this numerical is uh, for yours uh, is left for your self-study thank you very much